Uh, well, my dad was a pilot in the Air Force, and so growing up, he would take me to air shows, and I'd see all the Navy and Air, air Force aircraft that would fly in, uh, all the historic airplanes, and I've always had a, a passion for history as well. Uh, so reading about Navy fighter pilots in World War II, like uh, Dave Campbell and Butch and the Th uh, Thatch, Jimmy Thatch with his uh, Thatch weave. Uh, so reading about uh, what they did, uh, fighting against numerically and technologically superior odds in, in the Pacific really made me want to become a fighter pilot, specifically a Navy fighter pilot, uh, flying off aircraft carriers. Well, I, so like I said, I always wanted to be a pilot, and I always knew I wanted to be a fighter pilot specifically. Uh, but then when I went to college, I, I kind of recognized that I, I went to school for engineering, and I, I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed solving problems and thinking through engineering and technical difficulties, and I, I was almost kind of regretting that I wasn't going to have an opportunity to really do that as much, uh, but I still wanted to be a pilot. Uh, and then I kind of learned about test pilot school, and I mean, it's the best of both worlds. You get to do uh, technological and engineering problem solving, as well as going out there and flying uh, various different fast airplanes and, and doing really cool things. I tell everybody, you know, I've, you know, I've flown probably a little over 40 aircraft since I've been uh, as a student and an instructor of TPS, and I tell everybody still that my favorite airplane is the F-18. Uh, I've always wanted to fly F-18, and uh, so I flew in the fleet, and so I fly here, and I love it. It's a great airplane. It's cool. goes fast. Uh, it's it's been it's a remarkable design. Uh, it's very uh, very robust, uh, and it's and it's very easy to fly and, and, and operate. So when I was a student, I got to fly in the B-25 Panchito. Uh, that comes here, usually comes twice a year. The, uh, the staff and the students will fly it uh, two times a year. Uh, and there's a picture of me as a kid, probably about eight or nine years old, with my mom in front of Panchito at, a, at the Genesee Valley Air Show up in New York. And then there's a picture of me with my daughter in, right in front of the B-25 at that same airplane here. Uh, and then I got to go fly it. So being able to see that as a kid and being one of those cool airplanes I got to go see at the air show and then actually getting to fly it here at TPS was a remarkable experience. Like, uh, to be a good test pilot, you really have to be observant uh, as well as flexible. Uh, you're going to come up with a good game plan and it's going to change. Uh, I guarantee you every plan changes uh, when you get airborne. So you need to be able to understand what you're trying to get out of that test uh, and flex accordingly to, to make sure you come back with the data that you need. I think the biggest unique opportunity that TPS provides is the variety of people you get to work with. Both here, while you're going through the schoolhouse, you're working with multinational pilots and engineers, as well as engineers from NOC AD and NOC WD, as well as pilots from the PA community, the F-18 community, the E-2 community. And then you go on your test tour and you get to work with a lot of engineers that are some of the greatest Americans that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. They're so dedicated to their jobs uh, and so dedicated and so just incredibly intelligent and you get to work with those people on a daily basis which is just amazing there's a lot of different reasons to, that you want to come here uh, and everyone's going to be different everyone's have a different reason for wanting to come here i think it's, there's a lot of good for, uh, variety in terms of you get to come here you can fly lots of different airplanes uh, like i said i've flown over 40 airplanes since i've been here as an instructor and a student uh, so fly lots of different airplanes you get to work with a lot of engineering uh, and, and the kind of things that you probably utilize when you're in college that you probably hopefully enjoyed while you were there, uh, a good chance to come here and enjoy it here. Uh, and then you get to work with, when you get out of here, you get to work with the, the tip of the spear. You're, you're working with all the newest technologies that are coming out to the fleet before anyone else in the fleet gets to use them. And you get to find and hopefully fix all the problems with those issues, uh, with those systems, so that when they make it to the fleet, the fleet's getting the best product that they can, they can get. What really drove me to um, seek a career in the Navy was the like adventurous aspect of it. I'm a P-8 NFO and the P-8s are pretty new so they came online 2016 to the fleet and uh, as a fleet operator um, I saw so many software changes, so many just upgrades with a P-8 and it was really cool to me because I was like wow like this is happening so fast every six months something new is coming out I wonder who does this and I was like oh like I was talking more and more to people and they're like, hey, you can be a part of it too if you want to do test evaluation um, up in PAX. They, that's where the P8 um, does all their testing. And I was really excited. I came down here or came up here for a conference from Jacksonville and um, met with some folks and talked to them about like what they do on a, a daily basis. And I was like, that's what I want to do. 
I want to be at the tip of the spear, testing these new systems and making sure that the right systems go to the right people um, for what needs to be done um, mission objective wise. I knew I wanted to do something fun and exciting. I knew I didn't want to do a desk job. And also the what really compelled me was uh, serving the greater good, um, serving the nation. And uh, I, it really drove me to pick the Navy. <laughs> So for the fl flight officer, like driving me to be a flight officer, I knew I wanted to fly. I knew I couldn't fly because my vision, um, but I knew I wanted to do something that was also cool um, with the systems of the back of the airplane, um, operating those, uh, manipulating those, because I think that is what sets us apart from a lot of different um, aviation um, fields is because we have all these cool gadgets and um, all these things that we can manipulate in the aircraft that just makes it that much mu that much more exciting. Um, it's definitely different than I think other people have experienced, obviously with the coronavirus. Um, in the beginning that we had three months of normal, no normal schedule, um, but the instructors have been so great, they've been so flexible. Um, we switched to online class, but we come in for simulators and flights in person. Um, the online classes have been uh, kind of challenging towards the end, but in the beginning, like it was, uh, we were really excited um, to continue and like see how we could record classes now. So that's a benefit of the online classes. We're able to record classes and later um, review them, which actually helps with us studying a lot and uh, making sure we're retaining all the information. Um, but it has been, uh, the one the upside I do like about it is that during um, the quarantine for everyone else, like TPS has kept my mind engaged and not, um, uh, I feel like I've actually benefited a lot. <laughs> Fly with one of my classmates is definitely my favorite part of the job. Um, just going out there, getting test points. We are the test conductors for our own flight. It's so cool to have that ownership of your flight and just be like, all right, you learned this in class, now go apply it and see what you can do with um, one of your good friends. Um, so I really like that. Uh, definitely driven, you have to be driven. Um, and I would say ambitious. Defle just definitely don't count yourself out. Um, other people might try to count you out. Just know that, don't give anyone that power to count you out and you'll do fine. Um, and uh, flexible, like uh, finance was saying, flexible ability is a huge thing. Being in the, just in the military in general, we do so many different missions, so many different things, and on a moment's notice, it can change with the drop of the hat. So just being flexible and um, optimistic about it. Um, valuable things I've learned here is prioritization, for sure. Um, knowing what's the closest alligator to the boat and how to tackle it and to not get um, sidetracked on like any kind of distract, like minor distractions. Just know that um, the next thing is probably the most important thing. So you need to um, just prioritize that and then uh, get it done. I would recommend them to apply and I encourage people to apply if they have a real um, like taste for doing something new and different. Like I said, alluded to before, like being tip of the spear is what really drove me here. I wanted to be the first person on a system to be like, hey, this is good, this is not good for the fleet. Um, just seeing that direct impact, um, maybe not firsthand, but maybe later down the line, a couple years, like seeing that something you were a part of was then not only, um, not only uh, local to a squadron, but to the whole fleet. Personal favorite thing about being here, um, Definitely my classmates, I've learned a lot from them. Uh, what's unique about test pilot school is there's, I'm a PA and NFO, I'll be flying with a F-18 pilot or I'll be flying with um, a E-2 pilot or whoever and it's just like, we come from such different backgrounds but the camaraderie is like really great because we can learn from each other. Um, TPS exposes you to so, so many different aircraft, so many different mission sets, we really learn from each other. Um, on every flight and on a daily basis, um, just using that knowledge to make us better um, operators and pilots. Hi, Mom. <laughs>